Hey, 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 it's another year, it's another scream. And a gory one of that. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Scream 6. I still find it hilarious that this series is still going. I remember watching Scream 2 back in the late 90s on VHS, and then I kind of got around to watching all the other films. Honestly, Scream 3 is still the worst one, in my opinion. I actually think that Scream 4 is very unappreciated. I did get around to seeing Scream 5 just recently, and I liked it. I think it was a pretty good uh, sequel, even if it did kill off Dewey, which apologies for those of you who didn't know that, um, but it's been out for a few years now. They did make comments about that with legacy characters, and you can tell that it was an underhanded jab at the Star Wars films, or the new ones anyways. This film follows the survivors from the first film, primarily being Sam and Tara and some of their friends who have now moved to the city for college. Whereas Tara is actually trying to continue along with her life from the previous film, Sam is just dead set stuck in this protection mentality as well as there's also these false rumors being passed around that she's kind of the orchestrator of the entire event as the screen movies have always been they've always been relevant not only with film but also just kind of current day things and misinformation false identities and well, false truths being pushed is a pretty prominent thing happening. And I will say that this film kind of has an up and a down and then an up for me. The beginning of the film honestly is at first one of the dumber openings it's so kind of stupid like they try to make a kind of a reference to the stupidity of the scene but then once the first half is done there's another half to it and that's the part that's really fun so i feel that that's kind of the flow the ebb and flow of this film what after the opening things take a really long fucking time to get started it's not until the bodega shootout, which is where they take refuge inside this convenience store and a scream guy or killer follows them along and the whole thought that there was supernatural elements to this because they did that edit where he dodges the shotgun blast. What the fuck is that? I was very let down. But after this, the film really delves into this absurdity and this hysteria and the gore like holy crap some of the deaths in this movie are brutal absolutely vicious and the film just keeps on upping and upping and upping the absurdity and the intensity of this film i actually do like sam in this film again i do like her own personal demons her own personal fears of what's going happening both within her own mind as well as what's going on around her and the threats that follow her and her sister I do like the core group. I like how they are cohesive. There's probably more of a cohesion in with this than the other movies. I felt like they just had to be because they were all survivors of the event, whereas this one, they're a core group. And as the film gets towards the end, you are actually in for a really good ride, especially the last, I would say, 20, 30 minutes is really good from everything from going onto the subway train to the final climax of the film. I really enjoyed the second half of this movie. The second half of this movie is very, very good. It's very well paced. It's got some great intensity, some great scares, some great horror, some great gore, and some wackadoodle twists at the end however the first half is slow and that's the part that it's going to be the most challenging for viewers is just getting over that hump that initial eh, the opening and i understand that it's laying down a lot of aspects that are kind of the core aspect of the film being sam's personal demons and her own personal struggles to try and acclimate and return to society with how things are but it just feels like but it definitely takes a hit on the pacing. I, I will say that. Now, something that was actually kind of cool is I went to a 3D event. You don't need to see this movie in 3D. If anything, I kind of wish I hadn't. But it, we got this sick-ass poster. Some of you might have seen this poster around. Look how cool this is. This is dope. That's awesome. So I'm going to definitely put that up on the wall. But that's really cool, right? Overall, is Scream 6 a worthy sequel considering it's the sixth in the series? Actually, yes. I think it's pretty decent. It takes a lot of what was established in the last film and continues on with that, as well as making some nods to the previous film. Probably some of the best moments are with just the main characters. There is a kind of a tossaway line about why Nev Campbell is in this movie. For those of you who didn't know, there was discrepancy with her pay and she didn't want to come back for that. So they kind of just give 
uh, her a send off through a line. Maybe she might come back in another one. Depends on how much they pay her. Gail Weathers is good in this one. I think that Courtney Cox actually has a pretty good bit in it. She's probably got one of the most intense scenes in the entire film. So give her credit for that. The only thing that I could probably say about Scream 6 that might be a little bit on the nose is just it does go through one ear and out the other. You know that they're setting up another one right after this. And I'm kind of worried that it will become serialization to the point where it is the very thing that it's parodying. It's more so focusing on establishing something to create. Instead of creating something that's parodying and also pointing out established horror franchises, it's becoming one of its own. Like they literally call themselves a franchise at this point in this series. And the self-awareness is still good it's still spot on considering now this is the second film about Wes Craven and attached to it I think I might be a little bit pressed to try and remember that I saw this movie this year I definitely will remember because of the poster but overall as a memorable experience I think I'm gonna have kind of just a uh, feeling towards it at the end of the year so in the end I'm gonna give Scream 6 a 4 out of 7 if you're a fan of the series you will enjoy it if you're a fan of horror slasher movies you'll enjoy it I just don't think it's anything exceptional but i think it is competently well put together but those are my thoughts what did you guys think about the movie let me know in the comments below otherwise guys i hope you enjoyed the review if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe until then i'll see you guys next time